All right, let's say that you're ready to develop using Flash CS 5.5 or Flash Builder 4.5, and you need to create a signed certificate. It's a .p12 file. And the way you do that is you export from Keychain Access the .p12 file so that you can then sign the apps. And this assumes that you have already, you already got your iPhone developer license, you've already downloaded, created a certificate, and you've installed it. So I'm just gonna click go and choose utilities, and then choose keychain access. And at this point, make sure you select keys, and we want to identify the private key, and specifically, we want to right click on this iPhone developer and choose export iPhone developer. Now at this point, we want to give this certificate a name, and so we'll just call it iBrent Cert, and it's a .p12, go ahead and click Save. At this point, it asks for a password. You need to remember this password because you will use this throughout your app uh, building experience. And this will come up every time when you go to build using Flash or Flash Builder. So give it a password and remember the password. And go ahead and repeat it, Fluffy Bunny. And click OK. Now at this point, uh, you have to give your login keychain, so your uh, basically your Mac login, just to allow it. Go ahead and do that. And always allow, that's always good. And then at this point, uh, the certificate will be saved. And we saved it to the desktop. I can close out of Keychain Access. And I'll drag this over here so you can see it. And now we have our .p12 signing certificate. And if you followed along the previous tutorials, we have our mobile provisioning profile. With these two files, you can create and deploy apps to your device to test with using Flash CS 5.5 or Flash Builder 4.5.